Let's go, that plastic thing didn't come out. Yes, I got a GameCube. I've actually had it since Christmas, but don't tell anyone. So let's review the GAN Mini M Pro. So let's get all these boxes out of the way and have a look at the cube. As the name suggests, the GAN Mini M Pro is, well, mini. Unlike a 55.5 or 56 millimeter standard sized cube, this cube is 53 millimeters. A whole 3 millimeters. Anyways, 3 millimeters actually makes a pretty significant difference. It fits way better in my hands than any 56 millimeter cube. By the way, I have small hands. So this cube might not be b good for you if you have big hands. Let's get to the overall pros of this cube. First of all, it's really light. It only weighs in at about 56 grams. Another good thing is all of the different customization options and the great performance right out of the box. Speaking of the box, this cube comes with a pretty cool box has this plastic insert because this cube is way smaller than most other 56 millimeter cubes so that it can fit this cube and if you take the plastic insert out any other um 56 millimeter cube speaking of customizations this cube can customize the spring tension screw tension magnet strength and core magnet strength my settings are the strongest core magnets and corner to edge magnets and two clicks for both the spring tension and screw tension speaking of core magnets there are core magnets inside of this cube if you did not know if you didn't know what core magnets are there are magnets that go from the inside of the core to the corner stock which makes for excellent stability one thing that impacts the performance greatly is these hexagon honeycomb patterns that are inside of the cube. The honeycomb pattern does two things. First of all, it improves smoothness by reducing friction. Second of all, it helps trap lube inside of there, which makes any lube besides a lube that you put inside of the core, edge tracks, or corner stocks last way longer than on other cubes. Now let's talk about the cons. Whenever you open up this cube box and take out your cube, the plastic insert always comes out with it. That might just be a first world problem, but it is kind of thing to consider, but probably not make or break your decision. Another thing is the screw tension. The screw tension is literally impossible to twist without accidentally um, twisting off this blue piece and making the whole customization piece fall out. But the screw, I mean spring tension, is a good boy. Good screen boy. Another thing is this AirPods case which holds this tensioning part and these extra core magnets, which these ones are the weaker ones because I put the strong ones in there. With that, the core magnets that are extra attract to each other, which make it hard to put them back in there and have them stay like that. Like with the slightest nudge, those things just fall out. End up attracting to each other. Dang it, now I have to put all these back into there. The big thing that isn't a first world problem, though, is the texture. This texture on this cube is frosted, which means it's very slippery. And I've caught myself slipping on this cube so much when, um, solving. So it isn't that good for grip because it doesn't have glossiness or UV coating. But I think the good performance out of the box, the ability to make it better by lubricating and tensioning 
and the massive flex that this thing comes with um makes up for that frosted plastic speaking of massive flex the biggest thing that this thing is is a massive flex you can flex four things with this cube first of all your lack of willpower second of all that you're rich or broke you're either rich enough to buy this cube without going broke or got broke from buying this cube the third thing is this big piece of paper with all these algorithms on it the girls are gonna be all like oh i love men with big pieces of paper then you're gonna be here like hey ladies the last thing that you're able to flex with this thing is your cubing skills i'm telling you after i bought this thing I dropped from like 35 with this Yushin Law Magic to like 30 to 26. No cap, homie. This cube is bussin' bussin'. Is that what the kids are saying these days? Overall, I think that this cube is pretty good and it is currently my main. And I would recommend it if you have small hands and big budget. I said budget, not butt. Ooh, I love men with big budgets. If you want to buy this cube, link in the description.